me and Austin met uh, at Northwestern State University in Nacogdoches, Louisiana. We were both NSU ambassadors and we showed zero interest in each other. I'm pretty sure she had a boyfriend at the time. And I just remember this really annoying boy who never was prepared, always asked me for things. And I was like, what is wrong with you? And I finally was like, are you ever gonna bring a pencil? Like, are you ever gonna bring a piece of paper or a scantron? And he was like super flustered talking to me. We went through our freshman year and we knew who each other were, but we didn't, we didn't really pursue each other. And our sophomore year, uh, he kind of showed more interest and after one of my baseball games she she pulled up with her cousin Ashley she said well, you like him just invite him to the house and y'all watch American Horror Story that was like our show then she started talking to me and I asked Austin I said hey what are you doing later on she said nothing and he asked me to hang out kind of by ourselves and I remember thinking like oh I don't know you know like I'm not sure if I and that was it I was like okay that's me trying to ask you out and her cousin Ashley kind of nudged her. She says, oh, uh, I, what are you doing? I was like, well, let's go watch a movie or something. So he came over to watch American Horror Story, and I was babysitting Ashley's son, Tate. Basically, I was busy doing something in the back, and Tate woke up, and I heard him crying. So, of course, I rushed out, and Miller already had picked him up and was trying to console him and, like, get him juice. And it was really like at that moment that I was like, wow, there's something really special about this guy. She's just the type of person, you know, you kind of meet her and you, you know that there's something special about her. And I think everybody has that reaction with her, not just me, but I was the lucky one that kind of pinned her down. He is very calming. His heart and just how loyal he is and how intentional he is with his decisions is, is probably my favorite thing about him. She's as good as they come. She's salt of the earth, just good people, and she, she loves other human beings more than anybody I've ever met in my life. Genuinely loves people. That's the sexiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, come let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His hand. You know, we're here together this afternoon to celebrate and to affirm in the sight of our Lord and Savior the joining together of Miller Parker and Austin Aldridge as husband and wife. And I pray that you'll pray together, you'll worship together, you'll be devoted to Christ together, that you'll encourage each other to grow in spiritual growth. Your love for each other should bring you the greatest joy and the greatest peace and the greatest fulfillment. The home where love and commitment reigns is the closest thing to heaven on earth and your love for each other should be like a cool drink of water on a hot day it should bring you the joy that you're searching for it should bring you peace and that comes because you love Jesus and he's brought the two of you together so I know you know these things and I want you to turn and face each other and we're going to exchange some vows I Miller take you Austin I Miller take you Austin to be my wedded wife to be my wedded wife to have and to hold to have and to hold from this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I, Austin, take you, Miller. I, Austin, take you, Miller. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And so may you leave here today as you walk off this altar, walk off with God's peace and His grace, knowing that He is smiling down upon you right now because you've made a commitment in faith to honor Him and to love each other. So, having pledged your love to each other and having sealed the pledge with the wedding rings, I do by the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and in conformity with the laws of the state of Louisiana, I pronounce you husband and wife. You are no longer two independent persons, but you are in the sight of God one. And what God has joined together, let no man separate. Kiss your bride. I'm so gone. Anyone could see. 
and I'm wasting. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you to you Mr. and Mrs. Frederick and I just Miller Park. Know what's in your head? Write it on a piece of paper, honey. Put it in my coat before I go. I've always known that she was just crazy special, especially, you know, the past year, year and a half. You know, she's kind of moved on from her small town that she grew up in, and she's gone and sowed her own seeds. You know, seeing her and seeing how independent she is, and, um, you know, it's, it's just, it all kind of came together for me, I, you know, these, these past couple of years. It's just, this past season of life has been, has been really awesome. Just his heart and how he loves and how loyal he is is just amazing to be around and to know that he chose me and he loves me and he's loyal to me. Um, it just means means a lot and I know that he's intentional. Put it in my coat before I go. Starts at your skin so new. Your love's always finding me out. Oh, who am I kidding? If all my defenses come down, ah, baby, baby, will you lay it all on me now? Lay it all. Get these feelings and it's just like warmth and she's just I mean especially nowadays there's so much it seems like there's so much darkness in the world and, and she's she's a, a light and she lights up every room that she walks into 